This week on The Watchman, we are with one of Israel's largest first responder organizations. These are just some of the brave volunteers of United Hatzalah. Here in Israel, they're known as the Angels in Orange because they are saving lives throughout this country every day. In the process, they are revolutionizing first responding, not only here in Israel, but around the world. Today, you will get their amazing inside story. So strap in and get ready for the ride of your life with the brave volunteers of United Hatzalah. Gentlemen, let's go. Yalla. Fifteen years old, I went to volunteer in an ambulance here in Jerusalem, a local ambulance of Jerusalem. And I was sure the minute I'm in the back of an ambulance, I will be saving someone. And the first week, I was doing a shift. I helped a lot of people, but I never got to save anyone because whenever we got there, it was too late. Then one day, we're sitting in an ambulance outside of Mount Scopus Hospital, and we get a call about a seven-year-old boy choking from a hot dog. The call came in for the other side of town, so we had to go through the whole traffic of Jerusalem to get there. It took us 21 minutes to get this 70-year-old boy. By the time we got there, we found the boy on the floor. He was completely blue and cold. And we started performing CPR on this little boy. His mother was screaming hysterical, please save my son, please save my son. And we were trying everything we could. A doctor who lived next door saw the ambulance parked downstairs, and he ran upstairs to help us. And when he realized what's going on, he checked the boy, he says, just bring a sheet to cover this little boy. There was nothing we could do. And that's when I decided ambulances don't save lives, people save lives. And if we're not gonna get people to respond to calls before the ambulances, we'll never get to save lives. So I decided to recruit some of my friends to volunteer to respond to calls before the ambulance. And everyone loved the idea, and I got 15 of my friends to join in to this initiative, and we call it Hatzala, which means save, rescue. Each one has like a little walkie-talkie, whatever, and then they would listen in to the ambulances, uh, walkie-talkie, the big one, and then every time there was a call that was next to them, he would quickly call all his friends and say, hey, there's something next to you, and there's something next to you, and just like that, like a really small group of people, maybe 10 or 15 people. First, we started responding to calls, with our own personal cars. We were like uh, detectives. We would drive our cars and also hear an emergency call, put on our lights and sirens, and just respond to calls and get there. We would get there very fast, but not fast enough. I, drew, I dreamt of a 90 second response everywhere in Israel. By cars, we couldn't get there fast enough. And I decided to create the AmbuCycle. This was the first AmbuCycles in the world. Motorcycles that are turned into ambulances on two wheels has all the medical equipment in the back of them, has everything a paramedic needs to save someone. And a volunteer would take it to work with him, he would take it anywhere he goes, and he would be called basically upon the place where he is if he's closest to the emergency. It gets me very like emotional to think that this little organization that started off with really 15 volunteers and one husband is now all over the world and we're just helping the world to, to save lives. It's, it's, it's crazy. Every volunteer could just do whatever he needs to do all day. It's like an Uber. And he just goes and gets a call basically according to location of the people that need his help. So now we have 5,000 volunteers. We have treated over three and a half million people since we started. We have technology that locates you. We have ambucycles, motorcycles. In the Sea of Galilee, we also have ambu boats. We have tractors that can locate, go to emergencies in the mountains, in the water, in the sea, wherever we need to get to, we can get to really quick. Our response time now in Israel is less than three minutes. 
In some cities, we're less than 90 seconds. And that's the beautiful part about United Hot Salah. Gavi, this is where the life saving happens. This is the state of the art dispatch center for United Hot Salah. Tell us what we see here. Well, welcome to the heart of our organization. This is where the real magic happens. This is where the 1,200 calls come in every single day. Now you can hear behind me all the emergencies happening. Look at this. You've got the entire map of Israel from north all the way to Matula, all the way down south to Elat. 750 ambu cycles scattered all the way in every single community. Here, a call is coming There's in right call. now. Call coming in. 1221, one. what's your emergency? It's an emergency. So, this is what happens every single day, 365 days a year. 24 7. 24 7. This dispatch center is staffed 24 7. Constantly. Wow. Never, ever. Holidays, everything. Ever is there somebody missing from any of these stations. Wow. But you mentioned uh, we can see some of the ambucycles all around Israel right here in this map, right? Yeah. They were watching us today as we drove around the streets of Jerusalem. That's why we're able to get to emergency so fast. The second the call comes in, to ask them what their address is. We even have technology to send them a link to f tell us where their location is, even if they don't have the capability of telling us. So we're monitoring the entire country. We even have connection to Ukraine, where we have volunteers in Kiev and Uman, and we have ambulances stationed there. So we're international as well. Yeah. As you can see, Eric, we have volunteers from all backgrounds sitting behind me, answering emergency calls right now. It's possible that he's answering a phone call and of an emergency coming in from a Muslim person. Yeah. And then one of our volunteers is out in the field who's a Jew will often respond to that emergency. And that's what's so diverse here. Right behind me, Jews, Christians, Muslims, sitting together, taking the emergency calls, and then those calls go out to our volunteers in the field, who are all over the country. This is amazing. Tell us about the vehicle, the four-wheeler we're in right now, and what it's usually used for. So this is our ATV, one of 30 ATVs that our organization owns and operates. Um, right now, as you can tell, we're in the hills of Beit Shemesh, yeah. which has a population of around 170,000 people. Wow. And Israel it just has an amazing hiking culture. Yeah. And people just, as you can tell, it's November right now, and the weather is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. We saw some guys hiking just before we started here. Yeah, we did. And one of the guys hiking was a volunteer of ours. That's right. He parked his car at the orange vest. Hey, Gabby, let me ask you. So, this vehicle will be used, say, you're hiking, someone, God forbid, has a heart attack, boom, you guys get right out there on this four-wheeler. Exactly. All-terrain, off-road, we're able to get four-by-four, four, um, especially in the rainy season when it's a lot muddier and yeah. you have um, really bad conditions. We're able to go over rocks and all sorts of difficult terrain that a regular ambulance is not able to respond to. Yeah. Even our ambulances can't drive here. I mean, Israel is a hilly, rocky place. Uh, as, you know, as you said, Gabby, could you imagine ambulance trying to tear through this? It would be impossible. impossible. The response time for United Hot Salah is obviously going to be a lot quicker. Our response time is everything. We have made it our mission to make sure we are going to get to the patient in three minutes or less, regardless of the terrain. Wow. And if that means we're in off-roading, we're going to supply our organization and do everything we can to make sure we have these kind of vehicles to accommodate. And just so people understand, uh, again, Intamar has a full-time job, a family. He's, hey, he's torn away on a frequent basis to respond to calls in this very unforgiving terrain. He responds typically on average to about 40 calls a month. 40 calls per month. In addition to a full, -time, time. a full time job. Maybe even more. Yeah, in addition to a full time job. Wow. Full time. How many kids do you have? How many kids do you have? Four kids. Four kids, yeah. four, young kids four young kids, a full time job, and yeah. three to four calls per day where he's jumping like Superman uh, into the four, the four <laughs> wheelers. A month ago, he had another daughter. He had a daughter. Yeah. Mazel tov, my friend. <laughs> Mazel tov. Well, that. you're helping to preserve lives like your daughters with your work at United Hot Salah. Now, United Hot Salah, 
everyone knows who you are. Everybody. Everybody. So when you, you come out here to respond to a call, everyone says, here comes the Calvary. Absolutely. The United Hot Slides arrived, you have a distinctive orange much. vest. A lot of people call us now the angels in orange. Wow. They see our orange vests, they see how fast we respond. Yeah. We're there within seconds. We're there in the first, most critical, crucial moments. Yeah. And what's the angels it? in orange. The I angels love it. in orange. And it fits. We take every threat seriously. Yeah. And we're preparing not only on the southern border, but on the northern border with Hezbollah. They first. have the capability of shooting 100,000 rockets at us at any yeah. given moment. At every inch of Israel. And if we need to take any of these 30 vehicles during times of war, we'll bring them up there. Well, I think we can head back now, guys, because okay. although the 4x4 was amazing, we have some motorcycle time, ambucycle time coming to us as well, yeah, which I'm looking forward to. Itamar, toda raba. Toda Thank you. Yes, it was great. Well, let's head back, guys, and we're gonna hop on the cycles. Let's do it. David Friedman has made history as the first ambassador to serve at the new U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. He plays a pivotal role in the U.S.-Israel relationship, and he'll be a special guest speaker at KUFI's 2019 Washington Summit. He's gone on to become one of the top voices in the U.S. administration, urging the president to move the U.S. Embassy and recognize Jerusalem as the eternal capital of the Jewish state. Tammy and I welcome you to the opening and dedication of the United States Embassy in Jerusalem, Israel. Kufi is thrilled to announce that he'll be speaking at our 2019 Kufi Washington Summit during the National Night to Honor Israel. You won't want to miss this historic opportunity to hear from Ambassador Friedman and our many other special guests in person. Register now to attend the Kufi Washington Summit on July 8th and 9th. Now this vehicle, this ambucycle, is fully equipped with everything that's in an ambulance. Yeah. Defibrillator, birth kit, oxygen tank, it's all in this ambucycle. Wow. And the volunteers take this everywhere they go. They go to work with it, yeah. they go home with it, it's parked outside their house. Right. So that they're able to respond literally within up to 90 seconds. It's a mini, a mini ambulance. It is a mini ambulance. All in, this all in one. Yeah, it, it's revolutionary. It truly is. And Gabby, it's a, it's a smooth ride. It is. I mean, this thing moves and it's smooth and you can weave in and out of traffic and you have a lot of maneuverability that obviously a larger ambu a ambulance, a larger vehicle doesn't have. Exactly. Especially in rush hour. And we're right now in rush hour. We are in rush hour in Jerusalem, which is no joke. And look, someone, a call comes in, someone's desperate, they've had a heart attack. You got to get there. You can't let the traffic hold you up. How do you do that? An ambucycle, that's the answer. Look at all the traffic on the left. Yeah. Imagine there was an ambulance going the other way. Exactly. You got a full house bumper to bumper there on the left of us moving the other direction, Gabby. Imagine if we were stuck in it. How do you get to that call? Someone's in desperate, uh, in dire medical need. The fact that we're able to get to a call within 90 seconds is unheard of. I mean, faster than us is Superman himself. That's right. I mean, I tell people all over the world and I teach and, and try to really like inspire other EMS organizations yeah. to learn from us. Right. In yeah, 90 crazy. seconds is insane. It's amazing. And it, 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 that's the difference. Yeah. And this is going to spread around the world. Through United Hot Salah, this is spreading around the world. We just had the Prime Minister of India visit our headquarters, just where you were at a couple yeah. minutes ago. And they're trying to implement this model in India. Wow. And we had paramedics from Australia come all the way just to learn about how United Hot Salah does it. All starting right here in Israel. United Cell responds to 1,200 to 1,300, depending on the day. Every day? Every day. And I always say the wives are also the biggest heroes and their children. Yes. To be able to, on a Friday night Sabbath dinner, when that's the most quality time you can have with your family throughout the week, and it's finally your day of rest, the Holy Sabbath, and all of a sudden on Friday night, you know, you're about to have a delicious, warm, home-cooked meal, yes. and an emergency comes out, 
the family gets used to the fact that they're waiting for their kids, their father. The kids are waiting for their father or mother or mother. You're, you're volunteers, but you're, you're essentially, you're like a doctor, you're on call. We're not station-based, we're community-based. And that's the biggest difference. And that's part of our success in our model. The fact that anybody can respond. We're trying to get that information to all of our trained professional volunteers. And from north to south to east to west here in Israel, United Hatzalah has a presence and is responding. 24-7, even on the holiest of holy days, on Yom Kippur. Yeah. It's incredible to be driving here with you right now through the streets of Jerusalem. Yeah. And I'm just thinking in my mind how we were in Pittsburgh. Right. Helping that community that was so... The horrific anti-Semitic attack at a synagogue in Pittsburgh. So tragic. But the fact that we were able to be there, the United Cell Volunteers were able to come from Israel yeah. and comfort that community. Right. I honestly have a goosebumps. Up next, we head to one Arab Muslim town to see how United Hatzalah's impact is felt throughout all of Israeli society. Don't move. Hey everyone, Eric Stackelbeck here. I want you to join me in Washington, D.C. this July for the premier pro-Israel event in the United States. The 14th annual Kufi Washington Summit will be held on July 7th, 8th, and 9th at the D.C. Convention Center, and it will be our biggest and best yet. Thousands of pro-Israel Christians will join together and lift their voices in the nation's capital for Zion's sake. KUFI's founder and chairman, the one and only Pastor John Hagee will be there. He'll be joined by the U.S. Ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, and many other very special guests. But most importantly, attending KUFI's Washington Summit gives you the chance to personally deliver a strong pro-Israel message to your members of Congress. I'll be in D.C. this summer, and I hope you'll be there too to raise your voice for Israel for such a time as this. התחלתי חדש להתנדב באיחוד הצלה לפני בערך חודש ימים. אני מרגיש שצריך לתרום לאנשים. הזמן התגובה שלנו זה בערך עד שלוש דקות, שתי דקות, מאז שמתקשרים ומבקשים איחוד הצלה, עד שמגיעים לחולה שצריכים לתת לו את העזרה. אנחנו מרגישים שאנחנו עוזרים ומחזירים אנשים לחיים, כשזה זמן קריטי עד שמגיע את האמבולנס, מגיע לחולה, אנחנו כבר לפניו, אנחנו כבר מטפלים פה, נותנים לו את העזרה הראשונה, וממתינים לאמבולנס לפינוי לבית חולים, שזה אחר כך מטפלים פה אנשים יותר מקצוענים מאיתנו, ומחזירים אותו כמה שיכולים לחיים. ההרגשה היא טובה מאוד, נכון? הבנתי, נכון. ההרגשה היא טובה מאוד עם האנשים, עם החבר'ה מאיחוד הצלה. כולם אנשים טובים, רוצים לעזור לנו, ואנחנו, בגלל המרחק שלנו מירושלים, שזה העיר, אז אנחנו צריכים לתת את הזמן התגובה המהיר ביותר ולעזור לאנשים כמה שנותנים. מבחינת השיתוף פעולה, שיתוף פעולה בינינו הוא טוב מאוד, מצוין אפילו. עם טלסטון, שיש לנו קריית יערים פה מתנדבים, שאנחנו גם עוזרים להם וגם הם עוזרים לנו אם יש מקרים. יש לנו את הר אדר, שגם אותו דבר, אם הם רוצים אותנו, אנחנו אצלהם בשניות, אנחנו מגיעים. מעלה חמישה, אני הייתי בכמה מקרים שעזרתי לאנשים במעלה חמישה, בעין חמד, בטלסטון, אז אנחנו מרגישים בשיתוף פעולה מאוד מאוד טוב עם החבר'ה מאיחוד הצלה. כן, בטוח שזה משהו מיוחד, כי אנחנו מרגישים לעזור לבן אדם כי הוא בן אדם. הבן אדם, מה שכתוב, שהוא נולד בצלם, צלם אנוש. אנחנו חייבים לעזור כבן אדם לא בן אדם. לא משנה יהודי, נוצרי, מוסלמי. אתמול היה לנו כאן עובד מאבו גוש, שגר באבו גוש, הוא ממולדובה. 
אז היה לנו קצת בעיות של שפה לדבר איתו, אבל בסוף התגברנו ועזרנו לבן אדם, פינינו אותו לבית חולים, והוא הוא קריסטיאן, הוא, הוא נוצרי, לא מוסלמי ולא יהודי. אנחנו חייבים לעזור לכל האנשים, לא משנה דת, גזע, מין, זה לא מעניין אותנו, העיקר לעזור לבן אדם שהוא בן אדם. תגיד לו, אנחנו, זה טוב, אנחנו ממשיכים. הילדים שלנו התחנכו להתנדב להצלה, ואנחנו רוצים בשיתוף פעולה עם ההצלה, לא משנה לנו מי, אם זה בגן דוד או אם זה הצלה שלכם. אנחנו שמחים מאוד על היחידות שלכם, על האנשים שלכם, שקיבלו אנשים שלנו מאבו גוש או מהאזור. זה כבוד, זה מציל חיים של אדם. וזה באמת מראה על שיתוף הפעולה הטוב, למה אבו גוש ידוע על השכנות הטובה, אנחנו סמל לשלום ולדיקיום וליחסים ולשכנות טובה, וכל העולם יודעים שאבו גוש זה הכפר הערבי היחידי בארץ אולי על שיתוף הפעולה מאז ומתמיד המייזים היהודים, אני מדבר איתך עכשיו אפילו לפני 200 שנה. Coming up my final thoughts and one last ride with United Hatsala. Stick around. Israel faces growing threats on all sides. Hezbollah, ISIS, Iran, and Hamas never cease their attacks. But God has raised Kufi up at this moment in history to stand between Israel and those who seek to destroy the Jewish state. Israel's enemies are on the move. As dark clouds gather on the horizon, tell the world you proudly stand with Israel. Be a courageous voice for biblical unity and moral clarity when you join Christians United for Israel. Show your love for the people of Zion with this beautiful symbol of unending support for Israel. Wear the pen and join Kufa, a movement of over 5 million defenders of Israel. Call the number on your screen or visit kufi.org slash pen to receive your pen that will show your proud support for the special bond between Israel and America. years old I moved my family from Florida to Israel right here Jerusalem and at 15 years old I started volunteering on the back of the ambulance I just realized you know just what Ellie Beer realized by responding on the ambulance it's great but it's not a great method for saving a person's life it's yeah. great for transportation right you were getting frustrated because frustrated. The, the response time was not what you wanted it to be by the time slow. you get to your patient the person sadly might have passed away because it just takes 20 to 25 minutes to respond in such traffic that we experience today. Yeah. Oh yeah, Jerusalem rush hour, no joke. You can't move, it's gridlock. Yeah. But with this ambucycle, fully equipped motorcycle with everything that's in an ambulance is in the back of this motorcycle. So we call it an ambucycle. Our focus is to fill that gap until the ambulance arrives and to respond yeah. within 90 seconds. Three minutes or less, no more than three minutes, you'll have a paramedic, an EMT, or a doctor on scene treating, filling that gap until the ambulance arrives. So we could stabilize the patient so that by the time the ambulance arrives, we've already taken his vitals, we've applied oxygen, we've stopped the bleeding, we've delivered a baby, we've done whatever we've needed to do to make sure that this person has a much significant higher chance of survival yeah. than just waiting to start all this when the ambulance arrives. And then we assist the ambulance crew as well, and they go off and they evacuate and they charge the patient. We don't. We are fully, 100% volunteer and free. Always have and always will be. We are 5,000 volunteers, Jews, Christians, Muslims, from all backgrounds, yeah. all walks of life. Throughout Israel, Israel, from north to south, east to west. North to south, from Atula all the way down to Eilat. Wow. And we're going about our everyday life, and the second there's an emergency, that's why we're considered now, we can call ourselves the Uber of EMS. Yeah. We are with our phones, which the dispatch, which you saw today, is able to locate any of the volunteers so that in times of emergencies, it finds the five closest medics. And we're able to respond within 90 seconds. And I was just telling you about all the different emergency calls that I've responded to in the area. Yeah, even Most at the Western Wall in the, in the, the Kotel area. 
everywhere. Everywhere. There's People no place in Israel that we don't get to. Yeah. And you saw today, we have the ability, because what we're doing is we're thinking out of that box. Yeah. And whether it's with ATVs, all-terrain, Ambu tractors, or Ambu cycles, or Ambu boats, it's the volunteer with the equipment, with the passion to just, and the knowledge. They're all professionally trained. I mean, these guys take a lot of time to make sure that not only are they um, equipped with the right equipment, yeah. but the knowledge. We want the entire country to experience 90 seconds or less. So the more volunteers, the lesser response time is going to be. Yeah. And we're trying to get volunteers in every community trained. Look, I've had the honor and privilege to respond to over 9,000 emergency calls with this organization. Just you alone? 9,000, 9, me alone. 160 emergencies a month I would do on this ambu cycle. Sometimes five to six a day. You always say in your show that Israel shines so much light upon nations. Yeah. And here at United Sala, we're shining life upon nations. We're shining life upon the world. We want everybody to learn from us. And we just wanted everybody to join us. All of your viewers, they should come to Israel. They should experience this beautiful land. Yeah. And please join us at our United Atzala headquarters. Yeah. See it firsthand what it's like, that diversity, that uniqueness. Feel the vibe of United Atzala. And if you're really lucky, you'll get a chance to ride on the back of an ambu cycle like I'm going to do right now with Gavi. And trust me, I'm in good hands. He's a great driver. Gavi, let's go. Let's do it. The revolutionary techniques that United Hatzla is using for emergency first response right here in Israel are not only blessing this nation, they are blessing the world. It really is a revolution in emergency first response. It started right here in Israel with United Hatzla. Israel, once again, we talk about it a whole lot on the show, folks, is stepping into its destiny, talked about in the book of Isaiah as a light unto the nations. So. We hope you enjoyed our ride through the streets of Jerusalem today with Gavi and the United Hatzalah team. Until next time, from God's city, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace. Gavi, let's go save some lives. Let's do it. Let's do it.